Okay, so the very first thing we need to do is to take the dimensions off the drawing for nesting the material uh, into the sheet. So we've got our drawing on the screen of our tool chest that we're going to build and we need to take the sizes that we're looking for. So this is the lid. So I'm just going to highlight it, the sizes of the lid. We've got 747 by 551, so that's going to be the lid's cut size. Uh, the next drawing is for the ends of the lid. There's two of them required. And it's 362, but I'm giving you a height of 125. That's the size. So that is made up of the 38, uh, sorry, 83.5 millimeters on the uh, right hand end here and the total fold distance that we have to add to that is 34 so those two dimensions 83.5 and 34 get my calculator out and just add those plus 83.5 they come to 117.5 but i'm telling you that the, the cut size that i want you to do is 362 by 125 to give you a wee bit more material so that's for the lid the base i've written up the top here it's 362 by 420 the 362 comes from the bottom we're rounding 361.8 up to 362 the 363 plus we have a fold of 27.5 there and we have a fold of 20 mil there so if i add those 363 plus 27.5 plus 20 that gives me a cut size 410.5 i'm telling you to add a little bit of extra material and cut them and you'll need two of them so down to the body for the tool chest if we look at the datum point corner which is over in this corner here we have zero zero starting in this corner going across horizontally our largest dimension across this way is 747 at this point and going from that base corner right to the very top is 1138 so the body size will be 1138 by 747 and then we have to make two runners for the tray to sit on now they're going to have these dimensions here 12 mil high at this point 30 mil, 39 mil wide and i want one of them to be 22 and a half, uh, 22 millimeters high and one of them to be 50 millimeters high and i'll explain that later so you're going to have to work out the cut sizes for this area here but the length of it is 740 long and then you've got the tray has an overall size going from the bottom to the top of 460.7 so we're going to say 461 and the width of it at the top is 396.4 we'll just knock that back to 396 so one of those two runners for the um, tray to sit on the base two ends for the base two ends for the top and the top so those are the sizes that we need for to insert into a nesting sheet or a nesting plan into the sheet so we can cut it economically out of the sheet so here's a drawing of the sheet that we've got out of the rack it's two millimeter Zintec sheet or electro galvanized sheet it would have a size of 2438 long and it should have a width of 1219 millimeters it could be 1222 no one seems to be able to roll a sheet to the correct size these days which is surprising 2438 by 1219 is actually an imperial size it's an eight by four sheet eight feet by four foot sheet some sheets come at metric sizes these days at 2400 by 1200 but um, these sheets here it'll be roughly 1219 to 1222 wide so i've put my uh, pieces in here chest body chest lid chest ends uh, lid ends and the two tray runners so and the, and you'll see that actually the tray is missing i haven't put the tray on here because it's going to um, cut into this large portion on the side here so i would cut that uh we might cut a sheet up and take all the trays out of the one sheet so that we can cut it economically out of a sheet if i was cutting it i'd probably put it down on one corner here and the, the base of the, the balance of the sheet would actually be waste or not waste it could be used for another job because it's quite large but uh, i've decided that i'll try and cut them all out of one sheet 
So what we need to do is just lay off the dimensions in this drawing. So I'm just going to do that in the drawing. So just a dim linear dimension. And it's going to, right down on this bottom corner, just going to come up 50 mil. So it's the, the chest body is 747 wide. And it is 1138 millimetres. And then the chest lid was 747 long as well. And it, what have I done there? Why haven't I hit that? Do that again, sorry. Lineal dimension, 50 millimetres. There we go. And it was 551 millimetres wide. So there's my, you can pretty much work out that the length that you're going to cut your sheet. I'll stick the dimension on the outside of the drawing. Come down here, 75. So my total length that I'm going to get, you know, the the, the um, these pieces out of is going to be 1494 by the full width of the sheet. So sticking some dimensions in on these other ones. Chest ends. Why am I hitting that in the wrong position? All right, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm not thinking for some reason. Ha! Ah, lineal dimension. Lock it in there. Coming up from the base. It was 362 wide. The lid ends were 362 wide as well. Uh, we'll just put that there. And they had a width of 125, I believe, from memory. Now the tray runner, well you've got to piece up the top here. This one here is only 81 millimeters wide. This other one is going to go from this this uh, line here. And it gives us a dimension of 123. Now the 81 is big enough for the small one that's going to have a 22 millimeter leg on it. And the 123 is long enough for the one that's got a 50 mil leg on it. So you'll get those out of there. You can see on the end here, this blue zone is actually scrap. That is waste. You'll cut that off and you'll throw it in the, in the scrap bin. So that's how you're going to um, nest this material into the sheet. As I say, we will cut the tray out of a separate sheet altogether. And we'll do that. Um, we'll cut a sheet up and we'll take the whole class's um, material out of the one sheet. You will cut those pieces. You will deburr them with the deburring tools in the cabinet, and then we are ready to start marking them out.